Scriptural verses about healing, Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 says and said if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and wilt do that which is right in his sight and wilt give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus chapter 23 verse 25 says worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water I will take away sickness from among you. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15 says the Lord will keep you free from every disease. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to verse 22 says my son pay attention to what I say turn your ear to my words do not let them out of your sight keep them within your heart for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Psalms chapter 6 verse 2 says have compassion on me Lord for I am weak heal me Lord for my bones are in agony. Psalms chapter 30 verse 2 says O Lord my God I cried out to you and you healed me. Psalms chapter 34 verse 19 says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalms chapter 41 verse 3 says the Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. Psalms chapter 41 verse 4 says I said have mercy on me Lord heal me for I have sinned against you. Psalms chapter 91 verse 3 says for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. Psalms chapter 91 verse 16 says with long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Psalms chapter 103 verse 3 says who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth all thy diseases. Psalms chapter 107 verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Psalms chapter 118 verse 17 says I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Psalms chapter 147 verse 3 says he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 7 to verse 8 says do not be wise in your own eyes fear the Lord and shun evil this will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 24 says pleasant words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 14 says spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity but a wounded spirit who can bear? Proverbs chapter 18 verse 14 says the human spirit can endure in sickness but a crushed spirit who can bear? Proverbs chapter 24 verse 11 says if thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death and those that are ready to be slain. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27b says the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 24 says and the inhabitant shall not say I am sick the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 says but he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 to verse 2 says the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim t. he acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 22 says is there no bomb in Gilead is there no physician there why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 says heal me O Lord and I shall be healed save me and I shall be saved for thou art my praise. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 says I will make you well again I will heal your wounds. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 says behold I will bring it health and cure and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 says but for you who fear my name the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings and you will go free leaping with joy like calves let out to pasture. Matthew chapter 4 verse 23 says and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 says and when it was evening they brought to him many demoniacs and he cast out the evil spirits with a word, and healed all that were ill that it might be fulfilled. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 says that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Esaias the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Matthew chapter 9 verse 12 says on hearing this Jesus said it is not the healthy who need a doctor but the sick. 
Matthew chapter 9 verse 35 says Jesus went through all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 says And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 says Heal the sick raise the dead cleanse those who have leprosy drive out demons. Freely you have received freely give. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 says Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 12 verse 43 to verse 45 says When an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it then it says I will return to the house I left when it arrives it finds the house unoccupied swept clean and put in order then it goes and takes with I. T seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there and the final condition of that man is worse than the first that is how it will be with this wicked generation. NIV Matthew chapter 14 verse 14 says And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them and he healed their sick. Mark chapter 3 verse 14 to verse 15 says And he ordained twelve that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. Mark chapter 6 verse 13 says And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Mark chapter 9 verse 26 to verse 29 says And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him and he was as one dead that many said he is dead but Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose and when he was come into the house his disciples asked him privately why could not we see a st him out and he said unto them this kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Mark chapter 16 verse 17 to verse 18 says And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recove. R. Luke chapter 4 verse 18 to verse 19 says The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to pee. Reach the acceptable year of the Lord. Luke chapter 5 verse 15 says But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. Luke chapter 5 verse 17 says And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Luke chapter 9 verse 1 to verse 2 says Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. John chapter 8 verse 32 says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. John chapter 8 verse 36 says if the Son therefore shall make you free ye shall be free indeed. Acts chapter 4 verse 30 says by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Acts chapter 19 verse 12 says so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 says to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 says the signs of a true apostle were performed among you with all perseverance by signs and wonders and miracles. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 says Now the Lord is that Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 says Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 says God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. James chapter 5 verse 13 says is any among you afflicted let him pray. 
James chapter 5 verse 14 says is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. James chapter 5 verse 15 says and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he have committed sins they shall be forgiven him. James chapter 5 verse 16 says confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 says who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. 3 John verse 2 says Beloved I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth.